Hi everyone, my name is Amber Wallen. I am a comedian, I'm a human mama, plant mama, dog mama, and I am a full-time content creator. I am launching the creator closet, okay? A lot of the voiceovers and really funny, stupid little videos that you see, they get made right here in this closet because I ain't got no office for real. I am here to be your social media big sister. Let me run down my resume before y'all get cute. I currently have 1.6 million followers on TikTok, 288K on Instagram, as of maybe five minutes ago, I have 129K on Facebook and I currently have 56K on YouTube. Not only have I monetized on all four of these platforms, I've done over 50 plus brand deals, paid partnerships, collabs, campaigns, whatever you wanna call them. I will tag some right here in the description box. I'm also gonna be talking about one of those campaigns later in the video to help you find your way to the money as well because this shit is hard, okay? And you need a little bit of strategy, especially if you're just starting out. So today what I wanna do is I want to give your Instagram a little bit of a makeover. I think that is the first place that brands typically look to see how you could sell products and engage with your following. Your Instagram really shows what your digital business card is, if you will. So let's give your Instagram a facelift. So really quickly, before we get started, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your Instagram page and I want you to take a screenshot of it, okay? Because this is gonna be our before picture, if you will. And it's gonna be what you look at as you listen to the tips and tricks that I give during this video. So let me be Dr. Miami for a second. You got your picture of your Instagram, right? Put that to the side for a second. If you wanna be a content creator, if you're somebody who's like, yo, I wanna do this full time, I got a great personality, I got hustle about me, I want my man to be a house husband. Here's the thing about content. A good piece of content should do three things, okay? Let's quickly review what those are. Number one, it should be entertaining. You always want to entertain your followers in some way. Maybe you're pissing them off, maybe you're making them laugh, but entertainment is key. Giving people a space to escape the monotony of everyday life is the goal when we are making content for people to consume. So entertainment is your number one thing. Your second thing that people don't talk so much about is educate. You want to educate people without hitting a message over their head. Even if you're watching a piece of content from me, you might not see it as education because I really try to put you know, the medicine in the candy, if you will. But what I'm trying to demonstrate sometimes is what does it look like to have a healthy marriage? I know I know some of the content people are like, not you, sis, but I really do have a healthy marriage. I've been with my husband now for 10 years altogether, five years married. What does it look like to parent my child consciously is something I'm really trying to always promote. Listening to my child's interests, resetting, helping them regulate their emotions. What does it look like to create content? All of these things, I try to share that journey with people and show people how I'm navigating it. So hopefully they're learning as they're watching me. The third thing is a good piece of content should inspire people, okay? I really try my best to share parts of my life to inspire others just to do things. I might be the only black girl that somebody sees doing a yoga class or, or running a 5K. What I'm really working to do is to show you that in an entertaining way, educate you on what I'm doing with my postpartum journey, and also inspire you to maybe start a different journey of your own. I'm here to do all of those things. So if you are somebody who is making content, but before you post, ask yourself, is my content doing all three of these things? Now, you're not always going to hit every single bucket, right? Sometimes the shit is just about making you laugh. But I would say a really good juicy piece of content does all three of those things. Let's talk about verticals for a second. I am somebody who currently has a manager and an agent. And if you do get a manager or you do get an agent, they're gonna wanna know what are your verticals. Verticals are these special interests, these niche areas of things that you do. Your verticals showcase who you are, what you're interested in, and those verticals turn into brand deals. If I think about myself, what are my verticals? Family is one of my verticals. Fitness is one of my verticals. I'm getting into the get ready with me and clothing. You know, shopping can be one of my verticals. Whatever it is that you really enjoy doing, yoga is one of my verticals. Those should be showcased to the brand. So I want you to think right now, what are five things that you do? Cooking is a vertical that you out there have. Not me, not me. I don't do the cook, but critiquing food, you know, that, that that's my ministry. But think about what are five things that you know you're interested in in and, and the more niche, the better, right? Are you a gamer? Are you a knitter? What are those verticals? And what your goal is to do is to show those verticals. I think a really good place to show a brand what your verticals are, are in your Instagram highlight reels, okay? Those tell the brand who you are and they quickly capture little tidbits of your life. 
The reality is, is that these brands, they might get pitched 20 girls for a project, right? So let's say, for example, the project is, uh, we need, we're, we're doing a maternity brand deal, okay? The brand might say, go find me 20 girls that can fit this criteria and let me look through their Instagram pages. So if you are one of those 20 girls that is chosen in that bunch, you want your page to stand out and you want that page to be super clear. The brand only got about 20 to 30 seconds to look through your page. So the first thing they're gonna do, they get to that page, they can see those Instagram highlights, they can see those verticals and see how they could easily fit in. So you want to make sure that you got those highlights looking absolutely spectacular. If you're thinking to yourself, Amber, I'm not a designer, I don't know how to design my own highlights, guess what you can do? You can go to Canva, you can get a free subscription to Canva and Canva will show you tons of Instagram highlights that are already made and that'll also give you some ideas on what you want your highlights to look like. Literally go check it out right now or I'll, I'll, put, I'll put some on the screen right here. I stole my original highlights covers from Canva. Now what I do on my page is I literally just make it a different color scheme that matches my picture in my bio. So if you can see my bright yellow picture in my bio. I'm trying to capture that. I'm a loud, funny, cheeky little personality. And then those Instagram highlights are just going to be another emphasis of that, right? I got fitness there. I got family there. I got get ready with me. So the first things first, you want some sort of design or some sort of clarity around your highlight section because those highlights are verticals. So we've talked about how we can make over your Instagram highlights and how those highlights reflect your verticals, right? Now let's talk a little bit about what you can do with the grid, okay? The grid is amazing. Most like a TikTok grid or even a YouTube shorts grid, it gives you three pictures, right? And so sometimes what people do is they really nerd out on those grids. Maybe every fourth tile matches, so you got that diagonal flow. Maybe each row has a consistency. I think it's a lot to have to go through and plan that, especially with me. If I'm a comedian, all of those are not gonna always look aesthetic. If you're like a swimsuit model, maybe you can plan those grids out a little bit differently. But for for somebody like me, I think it's really helpful that Instagram allows me to go change my thumbnail covers. Thumbnail covers can be changed on Instagram specifically at any time. I'm right now even going through the process of redoing a lot of my thumbnail covers and I want all of those thumbnail covers to have that comedic tone. So it's really clear, if you're a brand who's booking me for the job, you can clearly see, oh, this girl's a comedian. Look at the funny faces here on her thumbnails. So something I like to do when I am shooting a thumbnail, I shot the video already, that's done. Then I try to get my husband or myself to take a very well lit picture and I'll be wearing the same thing that I wore in the video that I shot it in that picture. I take pictures on my Canon Power G7X. Um, this was a very expensive camera that I bought a couple years back, one of my very first cameras. And this is the camera that I use to shoot a thumbnail. So step one is I got my camera, I take that thumbnail picture based on the clothes that I was wearing in the video and then I set up a light. I have a light behind this camera. I'll show you what it looks like if I turn the light off. You see that? It's different, right? So this light right here, I will be sure to put it in the description. This is the light that I use to shoot those pictures. So I use my Canon camera and I use this, um, I want to say it's a Sirtex, Sirtex light uh, behind each of those. Even that I'm not done, okay? So what I do is I take this picture, I'm gonna explain this to y'all in real time. I take this picture, I take it to Adobe Lightroom. I don't remember paying for Adobe Lightroom. If you would like to pay for it, you can, but I downloaded Adobe Lightroom. And the Lightroom lets you set up what's called presets, okay? So I will take a picture and then I click the IG Thumbs preset and then that really brightens the picture. I purchased a preset from Etsy. Etsy is a place that you can go that has tons of presets. Have you ever been to an uh, influencer's page and you see like, oh my God, this feels so warm or everything here looks so bright and white. I know this person's house isn't all white, right? It's probably because they bought a preset from Etsy. These are very cheap. I, I recently bought a black girl magic preset so I can look very luscious and chocolatey in all of my thumbnails. This preset cost me $1.99. When you 
purchase this preset, each preset comes with a set of instructions so that you can get what you purchased into Adobe Lightroom. What you'll essentially do, I'll show you an example right here. You're gonna take a picture that this graphic designer has designed and then you create a preset based on this picture. Once you create that preset, you can name it something fun. You can name it IG Makeover or something. And then every time you take a picture and press that preset button, it basically makes over that picture. From there, so th these are all of the steps that I take to make just one thumbnail, right? Hear me out. So once I take this picture and run it through my preset in Adobe Lightroom, what I do from there is I go to Canva. Now Canva helps me easily. I have a simple little Canva design, y'all. I think it's like a little crumbled up sheet of paper and then my font. I try to put one word or two. I type a little word in there that might explain what the video is talking about, right? So it'll be get ready with me and then a little vid dinner right so I take my picture to re to backtrack I take my picture that I got from the Lightroom before and after I take that finished picture and I go to Canva and I put the description on it Canva allows me to save that thumbnail and that thumbnail is what you will see on the Instagram grid I know this is a lot of steps but if you really want to hit the ground running especially as a beginner creator I do this now I wish I knew how to do this five six years ago when I started first creating content it's okay because why Instagram lets you update those thumbnails at any point a challenge for you content creators out there if I were you I would try to update maybe three thumbnails a day that will take care of an entire row on your grid and now you'll know every single time that you go to shoot new content you will probably just automatically start taking a thumbnail because so you won't have to go back weeks later and be like okay what was I wearing in that video where's that top so take them as you go a, a huge recommendation I should say I would highly 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 recommend you take a thumbnail as you create because those thumbnails are what stop people when they're scrolling to look at and those thumbnails also show a brand okay if I were to work with Amber this is how my product would be showcased so show the brand, if they were to work with you, how that work would show up on your grid. Okay, I wanna talk a little bit about brand deals because I know that you're going to make over your Instagram. You already took your before picture, it's going to be absolutely fabulous when you're done. At the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do with that picture of the before and after when you're done. Wait for the end of the video. Brand deals are like dating, okay? If you don't believe me, you better start. Brand deals are like dating. I cannot tell you how sick I am of so many creators being like, brands don't wanna work with me, I'm not marketable, they never hit me up. That is basically like complaining that you're single and you never go out. And if you wanna be single, that's fine. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that want to work with brands that don't try to go out of their box. There are so many brands that you already use every single day. You wake up and you wash your face. What What's your face wash? Maybe Maybe you put a little SPF on. Are you using black girl sunscreen? There are so many brands that you already use every single day. And the best thing to do is tag those brands if you wanna work with them. Shoot your shot, okay? It's a date, show a little titty. Maybe you're a little bit more modest than me. Show a little elbow, show a little skin. You have to let brands know that you're out there and you're already using their products. Brands are way more likely to work with you if you have already tagged them, already made a reel about them. If you don't believe me, I'm gonna try one more time to sell you. In 2022, I tagged Grubhub. I'm gonna come with the receipts, okay? We love receipts. Um, as you can see, at some time before 2022, maybe maybe even in 2021, I tagged Grubhub. The first thing Grubhub said in January of 2022 is, hi, we loved your last TikToker reel. Here's a gift card to help smooth things over with Ben. I probably did something funny about Ben. It started with a gift card. I slid in ADMs first, right? And then Grubhub slid to me. Thank you so much. I'm obsessed with Grubhub. Happy to collab in the future. Grubhub said, we'll keep that in mind. If you notice, I then tagged Grubhub again on January 20th and then I created something again and I tagged them on January 26th, 2022. From that video, Grubhub responded, hi, we would love to potentially partner with you for the future. What's a good email to reach you at? Our influencer team from where they're from, will be c connecting with you shortly. So I tagged Grubhub three times and that prompted them to say, you know what, maybe we should work with this girl, okay? Maybe we should work with this girl. I have made five videos 
for Grubhub, meaning they have paid me five different times, different rates for different projects, of course, but let me just throw any random number out there. One of the deals that I got paid for for Grubhub was $22,000 for one video. Examples of the videos that I've made for them, but one year they literally booked me and hired me once every quarter of that year. So that was four in one year. Shooting my shot at Grubhub got me five campaigns with them. So if you start creating things and you start tagging those brands, I'm not saying it's gonna work every single time, but you're missing your money if you already support a brand and you don't tag them. If you're already at that wax studio, if you're already at that hotel, you might as well tag them if you had a great experience. That is a way to shoot your shot with brands. No more complaining that brands don't want to work with you if you start building a following. Brands also love working with micro-influencers, y'all. Sometimes brands are like, you know what? I don't want to work with this girl that has a million plus followers. I want to work with somebody who has 10,000 followers because sometimes smaller followers, those, those who are engaging are way more likely to purchase things. You know what I'm saying? Before I had an agent, before I had a manager, I once had a tracker where I was DMing directly or tagging at least three brands a day. And then I was keeping up with each of those brands to see what started as a tag and then later ended as a collab. So hopefully this video was super helpful in getting you more followers and getting you future brand deals just simply by making over your Instagram. So you took a before picture, right friends? You took your before picture. I wanna see your after picture. What I want is a very vibrant picture that shows your face in that bio then I want your Instagram highlights to reflect your verticals and then I want to see a couple of those updated refreshing really clear thumbnails that have been updated please send me a before and an after on Instagram or tag me in your Instagram story if you tag me in a before and after I'm going to reshare your page this is me telling you I I'm gonna collaborate with you if you show me that you listen to my advice in this video. So that is your call to action. Start making content, give your Instagram that makeover that it needs, and just know your social media big sister is here for any of your questions about this. I love giving people tips and tricks on how they can raise their followers and you know, shoot content in their closet one day, comfortably in their home, working from home, being their own boss, making their own money. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe. I'm growing my YouTube subs too. And I want to see those Instagram befores and afters. Love y'all. Bye.